Hi, let me show you some code. We have an array A of numbers and we want to square every number of this array. To enumerate these numbers we use the for each method of arrays. The this given to for each is the array T, but when for each invokes the code to square a number, another this is set. So this, this here, is not the same as the t here. So the array t is left unchanged and another object is mutated. Do you know which one? The first fix is to look at the documentation of forage and remarks that the second argument to forage is precisely the this that forage should use to invoke the code to square a number. So this t here becomes the value of this, this, there. Let's now turn square array into a method. We define it here. We adjoin it to the array r here, and we use it here. We use also the arrow notation for the inner function. And the arrow notation defines a function that respects the contextual this and does not impose a new this. So the this here is the same as this one. In case you are doubtful, I rewrite square array 3 into square array 33 and I move the uh, square definition out of its position of first argument of the for each method and I get the same results.